the only two choices, and uh, the Democratic and Republican. The, a third party has really no chance. Uh, any third party candidate can only get uh, at most one or maybe two percent of the votes, so uh, they have no chance. So when it comes down to Republicans and Democrats, uh, the policies are hardly any different. Uh, the Obama presidencies, the first four years, are basically continuation of uh, the Bush administration. Uh, you still have uh, the uh, catering to uh, financial interests, the big banks, uh, the foreign war, wars, many wars actually. Uh, so the aggress aggressive uh, foreign policy, uh, the uh, uh, not prosecuting uh, financial criminals, and uh, the, you know the shipping of, of jobs, American jobs overseas. So, and also uh, suppression of Americans, uh, the ignoring of the Constitution. So, the Obama, uh, Obama administration is not any different, subset, uh, in essence, than the Bush uh, eight years. So, to vote for the Democrats again uh, this time is to basically approve of uh, Obama performance for the last four years. So that's, uh, that's not acceptable. And uh, you can't vote for the Republicans either. So basically, uh, at this point, uh, Americans don't have uh, a real choice of uh, uh, how to move forward. So, uh, you know, uh, these two parties are, are only different in very minor issues, such as abortion rights, gay rights, etc. But uh, for anything substantial, such as the, uh, the foreign policy, the economic policy, uh, uh, and, and the disrespect for the Constitution, they are no different whatsoever. So um, I think it is, uh, you know, t to call for a boycott of the election is not to, to, to suggest apathy. Uh, this is not a passive uh, uh, response to the, the serious crisis confronting the American people. Uh, I think, uh, you know, there's got to be a way to show that this is uh, a sign of disgust. Uh, perhaps uh, on election day, Americans can gather in major cities and be very visible, uh, it, it, you know, it, they can turn out ma in massive uh, protests, not to vote, but to say that not in our name, you know. Uh, this election does not represent us. Uh, these officials don't represent us. Uh, perhaps that can be organized so that on election day, uh, the, whole, the entire world can see that Americans are not passive, they're not sitting at home, they're out uh, on the streets, but not to vote because uh, to vote for more of the same is unacceptable.